All right, welcome to the channel. And in this video, what I'm going to be showing you guys is a solo, no requirements method that we can use to be ranking up this week. It's going to be one of the better ways of doing this. So it looks like Hot Ring Circuit is coming back around again this week with triple cash and triple RP. So what we're going to be doing is taking advantage of the triple RP that's coming out of any one of these races. Now, the race that we're looking for here is going to be a race to where we are like up in the air. So this one right here will be just fine because this one has boosts that I'm going to be using to launch myself over the side, spin the car, and just let you guys know too, this is a stunt race, okay? So it is defined as a stunt race. So that means when we are doing stunts in this race, we're going to be earning RP for doing that. And that's what we're actually going to be taking advantage of by using this exploit here, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and choose one of these cars real quick. We're going to go in here and I'm going to show you guys how this is done. Now, once again, you're going to want a racetrack potentially that is up in the air. If not, you guys don't have to ever stay on the racetrack, okay? Uh, sometimes like what I've done is I've gone off the racetrack, you know, and you can just go ahead and like find jumps anywhere and then just get the car to start spinning and twisting. So for this one particular, check this out. You hit this boost right here, you go up over the side, and you start spinning this thing as best as possible. Now it's very important, it's very important that you land on your wheels. <laughs> Otherwise something like that can happen, and you don't want to get blown up because you're not going to earn any RP for doing all the flips, and therefore you're just wasting time in the game. So watch this. Just do a couple flips, just like that. Bam, RP. Look at that. That was a nice little trunk right there. And those little trunks are going to add up, okay? So watch this. So when I, I'm, like, going off the jump or something like that, usually what I do is I'm, I'm holding, like, left on my left analog stick and then, like, a little bit forward, too. So it's kind of, like, um, in a diagonal area to where it's not, like, left, but it's not, like, pointing up, but it's pointing in, like, a diagonal area. So I can get the car to like spin and flip and then also I will move my left analog stick all around and then get it in the circular motion to where we can just continuously keep flipping the car in the air you know because sometimes the car wants to flip like really easily but then there's other times too where the car is like at a really weird angle when you're up in the air like you can't get it to flip as fast I just ran into that <laughs> all right here we go still got some RP as you guys can see so it's triple cash and triple RP. So we're earning triple RP right here for doing any one of these flips. So I believe a flip would normally be worth 25 RP. But since we're doing it with triple, uh, each flip is going to be worth 75 RP, which is pretty insane. Because that still is a nice little chunk of RP right there. You know, think about this. If we had four stars... And we had to run away from those four stars. There's 400 RP right there. But, you know, if you have, like, one star, that's, like, 100 RP. And it still takes a long time to do that. You know, running away from the cops. And that's not always a successful situation in GTA. So, once again, guys, you don't have to stay on the track, okay? You can literally go off the track, find your own jumps if you wanted to. This is why if you ended up in, let's just say, a race that doesn't, like, up in the air to where you're not going to get any air time of flipping the car and then getting all those flips in and those stunt jumps and then basically, you know, uh, earning that RP, which is going to be 75 every single time that you do a flip with this car. So... I want to go ahead and talk about this too. Like at some point, you guys, when you're doing this, the RP is going to stop. Like you're not going to get RP anymore because a long time ago, they actually put in a limit. There used not to be a limit in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish the race. That was only not even five minutes right there. And then look at that, $22,000 and then an extra $5,370 on top of the thousands of RP that I just got. So how much are you going to be getting per race? Anywhere from, I would say, eight to 10000 per race. And it only is going to take you like five minutes. 
these are fat chunks of RP, okay? Normally, it would take a lot longer because it's just normal, but like this right here is a for sure fire way if you are a low level player to be ranking up, okay? Me in particular, I spread myself across the board and do an array of different things, and you know, I take advantage of this triple cash and this triple RP when it comes into the game because literally it is the best ways of like ranking up in the game. So, anyways, from there, guys, once you have completed a race, you can just start another one completely solo. You don't even need to own this car. That's why it says in the title, no requirements whatsoever. So if you were a, like a, a beginning player, you could go in here and you could rank up and you could be earning money all week long with not having to own a business, with not having to own a car. And yeah, get yourself in a good spot in the game. So anyways from there, if video was helpful, hit like button on the way out, subscribe for more content, and thank you guys for watching. You should check out my channel because we got tons of other awesome glitch videos just like this. But from there, you guys, yeah, hope you're doing good, and I'll see you in the next one. So peace.